So think of it like an egg. When you peel the topmost layer of the egg, you reveal fresh skin underneath. guys and welcome back to my channel Tamaka of Skyvale Beauty if you're new here you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber mm. thank you so much for the love on my previous video I just posted apologies for the horrible sound but I hope this sounds much better if it doesn't please let me know in the comments below in this video we're going to be talking about yet another ordinary product this is the lactic acid 5% plus hyaluronic acid now, before we head back to the village, before we continue the Rooted experience, I'm going to be reviewing a couple of ordinary products in the coming weeks. So if you do not want to miss out, then subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell so that once I upload a new video, YouTube will just tell you, hey, she has a new video, go and watch. If you don't know what I'm talking about, heading back to the village, Rooted experience, I will link it up here so you can binge watch my playlist. I know a lot of you found me through my skincare videos and some of you found me through the Rooted experience and yeah, I think you should check it so out. So first of all, what exactly is lactic acid? It's an AHA which stands for alpha hydroxy acid and it is derived from milk. Now because it is an AHA, it works on the skin surface to gently exfoliate the skin. So think of it like an egg. When you peel the topmost layer of the egg, you reveal fresh skin underneath. That's how lactic acid works gently to exfoliate your skin and reveal the beautiful fresh skin underneath. AHA's alpha hydroxy acids, like they are known to be quite strong exfoliants. However, lactic acid falls more on the gentler side of the spectrum. Although it is a bit stronger than mandelic acid, it is not as harsh as glycolic acid. And this makes it very ideal for pretty sensitive skin, which would otherwise not tolerate um, stronger AHAs. What are some of the benefits of using lactic acids on your skin or in your regimen? Well, first of all, being that it's a gentle exfoliant, it works to improve or increase cell turnover. Because of that, it will help to lighten discoloration, brighten your skin, and reduce dark spots and dark marks that we may have from acne scarring and the likes. So not only is it a gentle exfoliant, it will also help to improve your overall skin tone. Apart from lightening your hyperpigmentation, it will also improve the look of pores and skin texture. Now this is not going to erase or eradicate your pores, neither will it erase and eradicate your skin texture. Those are constants, we are humans, we are not porcelain dolls. But when we talk about glass skin, it would reduce the appearance of having enlarged pores, but it wouldn't make your pores just disappear and this will also help to improve the look of fine lines one thing that sets the lactic acid apart from its other alpha hydroxy acid is the fact that it helps to improve hydration levels in dry or dehydrated skin where can you purchase this i will leave a link in the description box so you can click to buy what are some of the potential risks or side effects that you may face when you use this product like any skincare products you stand the risk of skin irritation especially if you're new to acid it's always nice to start from the bottom and work your way up apart from increased sensitivity and irritation you also stand the risk of over exfoliating with these products now it says on the packaging that you can use this once daily ideally in the pm I, mean, I feel like that may be a little bit too much of exfoliation for the skin yes it is a gentle exfoliant but I don't know if I would want to use this every day, especially if you have sensitive skin. I would say start out with two to three times a week. If your skin doesn't react negatively, you can opt to increase it to daily. Another side effect that you may have would be increased flakiness or dryness of the skin. And also you may notice excessive oil production. If you don't naturally have oily skin, 
that should be a sign that okay your skin is reacting adversely to this product and you may want to consider reducing the amount of times that you use this in your regimen or you may want to discontinue altogether i would say they'll do a patch test you may also experience purging with this product if you try it out for the first time that usually happens with a couple of skincare products however if the purging or the acne or the breakouts if it doesn't go within four to six weeks then you may want to discontinue using the product or find out what exactly or what else may be causing your breakout photosensitivity is also another problem you may encounter when you use this in the am it's recommended to use this in the pm but just like any aha bha retinol any product that reveals or um, increases cell turnover will lead to some level of photosensitivity so it's advised to pair with a sunscreen both in the rainy cloudy sunny and winter days who can use lactic acid anyone can use it anyone is eligible because it is very mild and gentle on the skin so whatever your skin type oily combination dry sensitive if you want me to do a video talking about the various skin types and the best products to use based on your specific skin type and skin concerns let me know in the comments below if a lot of you want to see that i would be very happy and very glad to do that video for you guys if you have eczema psoriasis or rosacea please avoid using this product in those areas and please speak to your dermatologist before you use this product if you're pregnant or a nursing mom i would highly recommend you speak to your obgyn to get the go ahead to use this product in your regimen now let's talk about layering this product or how to incorporate this in your skincare regimen this goes well with other water-based serums i'll put up a table here it can be layered with other ahas or bhas however you want to be careful because there are some products that it doesn't mix well with ordinary recommends not to use more than three water-based serums in your skincare regimen at a go so that you can allow your skin absorb the products very well and also you can avoid peeling or that boiling up effect when using this product i would recommend you avoid pairing it with your leave-ons such as your retinol your vitamin c's or l ascorbic acids and your benzoyl peroxide so this is what the jar looks like so straight off the bat i can already tell that this is a very um, liquidy lightweight water-based serum this is like a true water-based serum and I, it does have a slight tint to it this is from the tasmanian pepperberry plant how to use lactic acid in your skincare regimen obviously the first step would be to cleanse your skin tone if you use a toner exfoliate and in this case we're going to be exfoliating with our lactic acid we move on to our serums our moisturizers facial oils and spf if you're using this regimen in the daytime it's no mistake that cleansing comes first in skincare regimen because of its importance if you don't properly clean your face or clean your skin of the dirt makeup and grime from the days you're essentially wasting all the other products that you put on your skin because they are all going on on clean or dirty skin when using lactic acid you want to be very mindful of the kind of cleanser that you use cleansers that contain ahas or bhas are not advised because that would be double exfoliation so i would always recommend using a uh, bell skin black soap yes for those of you who do not know this is from my skincare line called the bell skin and we have the bell skin black soap bar as well as the bell skin that comes in this gorgeous packaging which is a calabash it's available on our website so i'll leave the direct link in the description below as well as on the screen for you to place your orders and yes we ship board this is best because it is very gentle on the skin and mind you not all black soaps are formulated the same so this would be the first step you properly cleanse your skin and you pat dry with a clean towel um i would mostly recommend a disposable one if you don't have a disposable one you can just pat dry with a clean towel the next step if you use a toner of course would be to go in at this point with your toner i personally would not be using one one toner that you really need to be mindful of and not pair with this product is the very famous 
glycolic acid 7% toning solution please do not pair this with the lactic acid because they are both AHAs and you're going to be double exfoliating in fact glycolic acid is way stronger than lactic acid and you do not want to pair them together if you're not yet subscribed do subscribe you don't want to miss this video you use a moisturizing toner that way you're safe the third step will be to exfoliate and in this case we are using the lactic acid five percent hyaluronic acid i would say start with five percent if you're new to acids so that your skin builds tolerance and you see how your skin reacts to this product wow i really love how this feels on the skin it feels very hydrating my skin soaked it up really quickly it's slightly tacky just like the slightest bit this is my kind of serum it's truly water-based very lightweight it disappears into the skin and there was no tingling sensation there was no burning and i already feel the instant hydration i would definitely be using this regularly in my regimen this one is here to stay this is a water-based leave-on exfoliant so you don't have to rinse this off i would say use um three to four drops probably five depending on the size of your face a few people may say oh it's really liquidy and by the time i pour this on my palm and apply it to my face it vanishes no problem if you must please try to avoid having the dropper itself come in contact or touch your skin directly so you don't reintroduce bacteria into your entire jar the next step will be to apply your other water-based serums when using this i would say do not use more than three serums together so this is already one so you have two more to go i will leave on the screen a couple of products that conflict with lactic acid so you do not want to pair those in your regimen when you're using lactic acid you can use them alternatively but these products conflict with lactic acid so you do not want to use them in the same regimen if you use an eye serum which is different from an eye cream you can apply that at this point if you use an eye cream you can use that in the next step the next step is your moisturizer i personally use the bell skin share butter and these are my absolute favorite moisturizers i raved about them in my previous video the l ascorbic acid video these are excellent for all skin types they are amazing for deeply hydrating your skin yes so if you have dry skin these are excellent for you if you have oily skin as well these are fantastic because that's the myth with having oily skin we feel we need to stay away from hydration and all of that no when your oily skin is properly hydrated it will actually reduce the amount of sebum that your skin is producing your skin is actually overcompensating for the dryness so hence you have the excessive oil production these are amazing we have two variations we have the sunset and we have the original variation the only difference that gives the sunset its yellow color is the fact that this contains a west african herb and it's excellent for pain relief for massage for psoriasis for eczema and it is great and excellent for nighttime moisturizing i freaking love this one especially for nighttime and i use this for daytime if you have never tried share butter before you need to get your hands on these available at thebellskin.com and you can place your order we deliver worldwide i mean isn't the packaging gorgeous like so good the secret to the glow guys this glow this is it now at this point if you use an eye cream this is where you just take a pea sized amount and apply them around your eyes which is different from an eye serum and the final step is obviously sunscreen if you're going to use this lactic acid in the daytime it is highly recommended to pair it with a sunscreen if you use it at night time you don't have to worry about pairing this with sunscreen you're good to go and just enjoy the glow by the next morning all right so that brings me to the end of the video thank you so much for watching i hope you found it helpful if you did let me know in the comments below if you have any questions please leave them down below or head over to my instagram i will create an ig highlight where you can just ask me questions because i find that going through each and every single dm can be a little bit overwhelming if you're not following me on instagram it's at underscore sky bell i will leave it on the screen and in the description bar below follow me on there and leave it in the highlights where you see questions and i would just compile a video and answer all your questions so if, if you've ever asked me a question and i did not respond i'm so sorry please head over to my instagram and just ask it and i would do well to create that video and have the information all in one place thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one 
बाय गाइज